What's up guys? In the last video I showed you the tools that I use when I put together an electronics project and in this video I'm going to show you how you use them. Before we get started I want to ask you a question. Why solder? You got a breadboard and you can put together circuits with that, right? Well, the reason why I solder is so that I can put together more permanent, more reliable, sophisticated electronics projects. Breadboards are great for experimenting, but they can get unwieldy with complex circuits. They have some electrical limitations like stray capacitance, and they can get pretty big if your project grows. Before we begin, I want to give you the big picture of soldering. Here's the idea. Take two pieces of metal, heat them up, and let solder melt between them, bonding them. You're going to need four things to get this done. Solder. Get leaded solder if you can. Lead-free solder is okay, but it's not going to work as well. You're going to need a soldering iron. I suggest about 25 watts, but anything from 20 to 30 watts is going to work just fine. You'll need dikes to trim the excess leads. When you put those components through the board and solder them to the board, there's going to be some extra wire hanging out. You'll trim those with your dikes. And you're going to need something to wipe down the soldering iron with as you're working with it. Otherwise, it will accumulate slag and gunk and will inhibit the transfer of heat. A damp sponge works just fine. A lot of the soldering stations come with a little damp sponge holder. Okay, let's get started and solder something. First, I'm going to flip on my iron and let it heat up for about five minutes. You can tell it's ready when you apply some solder to the tip and it starts melting and smoking like that. And you want to do that because you want to have a nice shiny tip on your iron. That's going to help the heat transfer when you're soldering stuff. Your iron's heated up. It's tinned. Let's take the part, fold the leads at a 90 degree angle like that, insert it into the board, flip the board over, and splay the leads apart. Grab your iron like a pencil in one hand and grab the solder in the other hand. Now use the iron to heat up the two pieces of metal you want to connect and then push or insert the solder in between the two pieces of metal. Shouldn't take more than a second. You do that to both leads and if you want to go back and add a little bit more solder you can do it. And there you go. I just wanted to give you a brief demonstration of how it's done but there's a ton of great additional information out there on the internet. Check out the links in the video notes to find out more.